Hi everyone, I'm Merrill Hodge, sitting in my favorite chair, doing my favorite thing, watching tape, and watching the Steelers defense. And we're gonna watch TJ Watt and Bud Dupree. Um, the impact that they had, not in the passing game, I think everybody knows that and recognizes that, but it's an area to me that stands out even more so as you study tape and how important they are to the defense is how they defend the run, how, the things that they do, um, things that are not gonna be on the highlight show, you're not gonna see as your top 10 play, but when you come in on Monday as a team and you're watching it, um, your teammates are going, wow. I mean, wow, the things that they do. Now, I'm gonna show you a play here. I'm not gonna say anything about this play because I think what speaks to an opponent is how a, an opponent wants to defend you. That speaks volumes to what they think about your team or your players. Okay, so let's give you this play right here. This is the Patriots, it's the first game of the year. What do they do right off the bat? They snap the ball and what happens with both of their backs in the backfield? They chip. Now, anytime you do this to your opponent, this is what you're saying. This is what the Patriots are saying to the Pittsburgh Steelers and to Bud Dupree and TJ Watt. We respect you. You make a difference down here and we are not gonna let that happen. So it doesn't really matter what I say. I could tell you all great things about Bud Dupree and TJ Watt and what they did and how they affect game plans. But what the Patriots do right here speaks volumes. It tells you exactly what they think about these players when they do this. When they snap the ball and both of these guys chip. Both of them are staying in. Now, there's a couple things here. They're staying in to block, one. But two, now they can't get out in the passing tree. There's therefore two less options for Tom Brady. What eventually happens here when uh, Tom Brady doesn't have time to throw the football, he starts to extend it. Even though the bat gets out there, he's limited in the places he can go with the football early. And that hurts offenses. And Bud Dupree and TJ Watt did a great job of that in the passing game. Even though it wasn't sacks, it was impact and offensive game plans. And on a draw, he gets stuffed. TJ Watt. Third and two. The Steelers knocked the running back down for a loss at the 25. Mack couldn't get out of his way. Bud Dupree, first hit. I think in the running game to me is what stood out the most, how good they are in the running game. Now let's take a look at TJ Watt here. I mean, there's a term in defense, first contact wins. What's well, a term in football period because it works on the offensive side too. First contact wins. Well, this is a great example of first contact wins right here. What a great job with his hands. I mean, this is what to me is so impressive with TJ Watt is how he plays with his hands, getting separation and getting off a block is one thing. Making the tackle and getting to the ball carrier is a complete another level. And he did that on a consistent basis. Now this play right here, here's what I love about him. Um, is that he takes on two blockers. This is important for a couple of reasons. Now, Bud Dupree makes the tackle. You can say, well, he wasn't unblocked, but you gotta walk through what San Diego's thinking here. We're gonna double TJ Watt. We're gonna get movement. We're gonna move him off the ball. Well, that doesn't happen. I mean, both guys who engage in the process on him, I mean, neither one of them get any movement. So when you don't get movement with the speed of Bud Dupree, there's just no way that this back has a shot. You know, he's held the edge. Um, he's not allowed the back to get going because that's where they want the back to go. Anytime you double somebody, that means you're gonna get movement, you're gonna win, and the back's gonna follow that double team. That doesn't happen. I mean, TJ Watt stuffs it. Now Bud Dupree and his speed, they get to it. Now this play right here, this is just, an incredible athletic play. I talked about first contact wins. Just watch this from the end zone. I mean, this is just, uh, I mean, mind blowing football. Want to focus right there. Watch him come off, first contact wins. The speed and execution of this swim move is really incredible. He swims and is around, and then he locates the ball carrier and tackles him. I mean, that's just incredible football. 
these type of things, Bud Dupree and TJ Watt impacted on this defense. It wasn't the sacks that stood out to me, it's how they defend the run. It's the way they make you game plan for them. They make you neutralize their offense just so you don't wreck the game.